Sorry. All right. So <laughs> Here we go. Fizz is gone. Yumi is gone. Vagar is gone. Heimerdinger gone. Lulu back in. Let's go, dude. Okay, that's fantastic. Fizz and Yumi gone. What more could we really ask for? I'm also really sad to see, um, well, not sad, more like surprised to see Heimerdinger gone because this is like a control staple, like flood the board when you're rotating. Um, or rather, okay, you flood the board while you're trying to play a controlling archetype, right? So seeing Heimerdinger rotated is surprising because it felt like a piltover staple for that archetype. Okay, so, I mean, I love it. Uh, great, great start. Very happy to see Lulu back because the support archetype is frankly very fun. My one worry, though, is Lulu Chompers, right? Lulu, Lulu Chompers was a little bit strong. It was basically like Jinx aggro with a little bit of elusive stuff going on. But yeah, good start. So, uh, this is Buildswater. Okay, we're also getting rid of Nami. We knew about Pike and Gangplank is back in. I mean, yeah, I really don't. I, I don't care about Nami at all. I think there were some interesting Fizz deck, but most of it was just like elusive aggro. Pike, yeah, Lurk is gone. We know that it was linear. And now we have Gangplank. Very, very aggressive. Uh, maybe the return of pirate aggro. It's so wild to see three champions rotating, by the way, and one back. I thought it was going to be one in, one out, but having three champions gone? Oh my god. Yeah, three, three is huge, actually. That's so many. I mean, it makes sense to keep the, the format like healthy and balanced. And also, this is the second rotation. The one they had last year felt very experimental. And now it's like we're, we're kind of seeing stuff more narrowed down and in the direction that they want the game to go. So this is, this is awesome. I'm very happy to see Nami gone. Okay, next. Lucian, Quinn, Jar... <laughs> we're bringing back Fiora! Dude... Oh my god, Fiora is back. <laughs> Quinn out is also pretty surprising to me. That's like, that's the, that's the Scout deck, you know? But Scout has always been like, oh, we don't know what deck is good. Guess we'll just play Scout. And then that is like one of the best decks in the game. Lucian out is also pretty surprising. Felt like he hasn't been doing anything. Jarvan was low-key, like, before Morgan, at least, the best champion in Dimashia, which is played everywhere. Also with the elite tag was surprisingly relevant for stuff like Warden of the Tribes, for just like the elite archetype in general, and as just a good card to have in your deck, right? So these three champions gone with Fiora coming back, is that a good trade deal? I don't, is this a good trade deal, chat? I actually don't think it is. Like as, as straightforward as these three champs are, Fiora, the alternate win con? I guess we'll see, I guess we'll see. Champion rotation, Udir is gone. Sejuani is gone, Trinimir gone, and Braum is back. They got rid of Udir? Why? Why would Udir be gone? Okay, so Sejuani is probably gone because now it's Gangplank back and they don't want like the Plunder archetype to come back. Seeing Udir gone is so surprising to me. Yeah, they just added Bethany, exactly. <laughs> come on, we just got Bethany and now Udir is gone? Trinimir is pretty surprising to me too. I think this might be because of like War Mothers and War Mother and Failure at Ramp always just playing Trinimir as a stat stick was super boring. I mean, I honestly, Braum back, probably a pretty good trade deal. Probably just fine, right? Probably okay. Uh, okay, and then up next we have Ionia. Ari Z Karma is out, boys! We won! Game is saved. Karma is finally out of here. And we get Yasuo back to right. I forgot about this already, even though we just read it in the article. But Yasuo and Lulu are coming back. I, um... Huh. Yasuo with the stun archetype, huh? I mean, I I'm glad to see Zed gone, because we were just talking about Gwen Zed. And I said, let's, uh, let's rotate Gwen. But honestly, seeing Zed gone is probably, like... That's probably a bit better. So Ari, surprising to see Ari gone, because she hasn't really been doing anything at all. Uh, Zed felt like a very fair car for a long time, but the ephemera archetype was highly frustrating. Karma gone, honestly, I don't know why that didn't happen last year. Lulu and Yasuo coming back, yes, stuns are frustrating, and yes, chompers with Lulu can be frustrating, but I don't think it comes even close to the play patterns that Zed and Karma created, so good trade deal. You know, Ionia's Ionia, when it comes to this region, it's just about minimizing the damage, you know? Okay. 
Riven? LeBlanc? Real. We're getting rid of Riven? Why? Okay, this one sucks. This one makes me unhappy. I knew Vladimir was coming back because of the, the rework. So I'm, I'm going to say it right now. If Vladimir comes back like this as a 5 mana 5 5 with this effect, it's going to be one of the best cards in the game in standard. With all this stuff gone and Vladimir in, this is ridiculous. This is insanely good. Like aggro 100% back. This is awful. No, it's not. This is fantastic. I'm, 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 I'm willing to like go Riven if it means I'm getting back stuff like Vladimir and I don't know, whatever, whatever else that can create new stuff to play with. So, uh, yeah, LeBlanc, surprising. I'm, I think Darius, the only reason Darius is gone, it, it's got to be Nar Darius, right? Like we just saw, we saw the Bandle City rotation. We saw the Failure rotation. Nar wasn't there. So Nar must be still in standard. Oh yeah, LeBlanc Ash. Yeah, you're right. LeBlanc Ash. Yeah. <laughs> or they saw Legend Apriam Printer, yeah, or that. Uh, I'm, I'm mostly sad about the Riven leaving here, because Riven is, like, my third most played champion or something. But I love Vladimir, so... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, next. Seraphine is gone! What?! No way! They rotated Seraphine?! You're joking, dude. <laughs> Best rotation ever. All I could have asked for. Get the hell out of here. LOR, this is the golden age of Rotera. PvP might have died, but it was all worth it if it means that Seraphine is gone. Nah, dude, that's a big win. Oh my god. Thank the Lord, actually. I don't care about any Seraphine apologists. Nobody. This is fantastic, and honestly, let's be honest, it wasn't necessary to. Screw this freaking archetype, man. If they have to rotate Karma, obviously they're rotating Seraphine, or it's just gonna be like Seraphine set all year again. Get this bitch out of here, man. I'm tired of this. God bless. Also, Heimerdinger, which we knew about. Uh, yeah, so, okay, Vi, the reason that they rotate a Riven might actually be because Vi is coming back. Because Raven Vi would be a very good deck. Uh, unfortunately, there's no Victor. Unfortunately, Victor not back in the game. I would like to see it. Uh, but Vi is like, yeah, fine. But Raven Vi, yeah, I, I think that would have been a real deck. Very real. Rare Sunny Swear. Yeah, I mean, I stand by it too when it comes to Seraphine. Get, get this garbage out of here, man. I don't... I'm so happy I can enjoy Runeterra without having to worry about queuing into Seraphine, man. It's so cringe. It's so cringe. First of all, queuing into, like, removal pile control decks is cringe. And second of all, Seraphine adds RNG to that. Not only are my units getting removed, when you finally think they might not have an answer, they pull a random, random generated card out of their ass that you lose to. Get this garbage out of here, man. Thank you, Riot. Thank you. I'm happy. Like, last year they had to demolish my hopes and dreams, and I still kept playing Runeterra up until today. Victor gone. Twisted Fate gone. Ziggs gone. Zoe gone. Aphelios gone. Terry gone. I can go on. All my champions are gone. And you know what? It's all worth it because this pink-haired asshole is now gone. Thank you, Riot. Thank you. That, I, that felt necessary. <clears throat> okay. Shadow Owl. Callista gone, Nocturne gone, Vagar gone, Senna gone. Trash in. Hecarim is in. Oh my god. They are bringing back Hecarim. I think Trash coming back is really cool. Uh, Hecarim Azir. Oh my god, you're right. We can play Hecarim Azir again. Actually, we haven't seen the Shurima rotation yet, but I don't think Azir is gone. If if Azir's gone, I'm 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 out of here, man. There's no way to getting rid of Azir. Like there, there are a couple of champions. They will just never rotate. Aurelian Soul, Azir, Jinx, probably, unless they're doing Jinx V two. <laughs> I I think Hecarim's cool. Uh, I think Hecarim plus Zed would be highly problematic in standard, but with Zed gone, I think I I'm honestly I'm kind of expecting. Um, I'm expecting the Draggling free attack card to be gone, but we're going to find out about that later when the full list gets revealed. For now, it's just a Champions. Um, yeah, no, this is good. This is, uh, Thresh Hecarim, 
they make cool decks. Ultimately, I think the only big loss here is Kalista. Kalista did some cool stuff, but at the end of the day, most of the time you're playing Kalista as a 3-mana three 3-4, three and that doesn't really do any exciting things, whereas with Trash and Hecarim, it creates new cool opportunities. Uh, Vega and Senna, yeah, get him out of here, don't care. Nocturne, I think, was a really cool champion, but super, super limited in what he does, so I don't care about this either. These three are good. Kalista's sad, but if there is a good reason why they had to get rid of her, like maybe because Hecarim's coming back, that's good, right? Uh, yeah, well, we'll take this. Okay, so we're, we have Shurima Targon and Runeterra left. We're saving the best for last with Targon. So, uh, Shurima. Renathan is gone. Rek'Sai is gone. Yeah, as expected. And Akshan is gone, which we knew about. Okay, I'm, the only one I'm surprised about is Renekton here. Uh, also, here's a fun story, Chad. Here's a fun story. I knew Saver was coming back. And you want to know why? During, I'm not going to name drop the death that said this, but during the LA mystery event, right? I, I think I talked about this with Marshall. During the LA mystery event, we were talking about Rotate and Akshan, and then the devs were trying to be mysterious, and they said like, yeah, you know, but the champion we're bringing back, I think she will create new interesting decks. She. The only champion from Shriba that was rotated is a she, is Sivir. <laughs> So at that point, like, oh, well, it can only be it can only be this champion, right? I'm not going to say who it was, but yeah, Marshall was standing next to me. And I was like, huh, interesting, interesting, interesting way of wording that. So, yeah, I, I basically knew Silver was coming back. But that's also the reason why I constantly thought that it was going to be one in and one out. I was like, uh, Akshan gone, Silver in, right? But seeing Renekton and Rek'Sai, a.k.a. Lurk, leaving... Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. I, I liked Renekton, but again, not like the most exciting champion to build around. Usually just like a piece of a deck to have like another overall archetype or something. But uh, yeah, sure. No, Pike is gone. Okay, and now the best for last, Targon. Can I please... Actually, okay, hold on. We saw Biltwater and Tom isn't coming back, which means that Soraka isn't coming back either. So I want Zoe, Aphelios, Taric. I think that's it, actually. Uh, what, what else is rotated? Are those the only three? If those are the only three, there's only, like, good hits. Zoe, Aphelios, Taric. Who am I missing? The Soraka isn't coming back. With Lulu in, we might get... There's no way we're getting Taric. Oh, Pantheon. No, Pantheon isn't rotated. Okay, I'm just going to click it. I'm just going to click, and I'm going to pray for Aphelios. Because there's no way Taric is coming back. Or Zoe. Aphelios and Taric! Okay, okay. We're winning. Targon is back, baby. Targon. Wait, they're getting rid of Pantheon? And Kale. Okay, I mean, I don't care. I don't care. I'm getting Aphelios back? Bro. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm playing PvP again for the, for the upcoming year, I guess, man. Why are they bringing Taric back, though? Bro, I literally talked about Taric, like... A few days ago, saying he will probably never come back. Oh, that was during the uh, the thing I did for the daily discussion. I was like, yeah, Tarek's never coming back to, to Standard because he breaks so many interactions. Tarek and Fiora back. I mean, I'm more worried about, like, Fiora, Shen being a thing again. Wow. Pantheon gone is really surprising. I'm kind of happy to see it because, again, linear, same thing every time. Tarek is back with Pantheon. I, I'll take it, man. Like... You have to look at the champions in a way like, OK, for me, it's different, right? Because I'm a content creator. I play new decks every single day. So I'm looking for interesting things to do with decks. If I'm building a Taric deck, there's like a million things you can do because because of his ability, right? Like you could do the boring thing and the powerful thing, which is like which was Golden Aegis on Taric rally three times. But if you're building a Pantheon deck, it's like, OK, I need stuff that targets my allies and I need to do it every turn. Every deck plays out the same way, and that's not really the case with Taric. Same with Aphelios. Like, Aphelios is a beautiful champion. It has so many angles. And for that reason, he was a little bit broken. A little bit broken. But he's back, and, Tar and Targon needed that. Uh, seeing Kale gone honestly upsets me, though. Kale is really simple. Yeah, Kale is just a simple champion. Like, pretty interesting deck could be played with Bandle City, could play with, like, Evelyn stuff. Uh, saw a lot of play with... Even Daybreak, Noxus as, like, top end. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh, Lee Sin is still rotated. There's, uh, they're never rotating ASOL. I don't believe it. 
Fior or Tarek? I'm gonna be real, dude. I don't even think that's good. <laughs> I don't think Tarek Fior is good. They literally fall to one Shadow Owl list. Okay, and we have one more region. Which is Rune Terra. But honestly, we already won. We got Affiliates and Tarek back. We won. Uh, Sunny Watchers, uh, we're winning. Bart out. Rise out. Ferris Kane and Aatrox out? We're getting rid of all the Darken? Aw, but Bart. Man. This is wild, man. They were rotating three Darken? My Bart? I riot? Yeah. <laughs> Nora Bart is dead. What is this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, Mario. Uh, wow. I, I, so, I'll be honest. Um, I've always said this, but I think the Dark in play patterns, the Dark in decks were super interesting. They were really unique, especially Aatrox, right? Like, maybe only Aatrox, but Aatrox worked really well with Kane, and Varus had, like, his own thing going on. Uh, Varus is, like, my least play champion, so don't... Whatever I say about Varus, ignore it. Boring. But Aatrox, such an interesting concept with the uh, assimilation. It's so cool. It's such a highlight. I felt like Aatrox was the perfect ending to like a year of content with the Darken Saga. It was so well done. I, it wasn't for me, but it's such like a cool deck to have exist. Much like Sundisk and Deep. I think Sundisk, Sundisk and Deep are, are important for the game because they're such like different play styles to what you're used to from card games. And Aatrox was the same thing. However, uh... You know, it being cool doesn't mean that it's healthy for the game. So, I, I, I'm i not complaining about him being gone. I, in fact, I think it's a good thing because of the way that Dark Index played a lot of the time. But Bar being gone is very surprising to me, most of all. The whole stat buff thing. You know what this probably means, actually? I just thought about it. Maybe this means they're reverting Bart <laughs> for Path of Champions. <laughs> Maybe Bart starts shuffling chimes on turn one again for Path of Champions. And the only way they could do that was by rotating him. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, man. <laughs> because we clearly can't have Bart in standard if he rotates chimes on turn one. What happens to Mr. Thrift? Mr. Thrift will probably stay. Mr. Thrift was more, more powerful with shrooms most of the time anyway. <laughs> Okay, so now we know all the cards that are getting rotated. So we're going to go back to the article and look for context. So when this ends up on YouTube, I'm going to need Shadoka to work some editing magic. And, you know, put, put the reaction to everything first and then the context, all right? Actually, hold on. You know what? I think it's even better if, um, if for the YouTube viewers right now, because I believe that the people that are here on twitch.tv slash snui, I believe that we have to wait at least... Uh, three four hours until we get the full list if the timetables are correct so for the youtube viewers what i can do is just clap my hands right and then they'll see the entire rotation list okay so uh, okay chat come on yeah, everybody everybody clap your hands all right three two one okay and we're back full list of cards that are getting rotated we're gonna go region by region the following cards will be rotated out of the standard format and will only be playable in the eternal format here we go. The champions. We have to go one by one. Fizz. Gone. We knew that. Yumi. Gone. Vagar. Gone. Heimerdinger. Gone. Telstones. Gone. Big one. Big one. Really big one. Shark Trainer. Small one. Nobody cares about this. Trixie Tentacles. Oh, this is great. Okay, we have to realize that when we're looking through Battle City, okay, assuming that Conch isn't getting rotated, every spell that's cheap getting rotated is a huge nerf. To Battle City because this is no longer generatable by Conch. Trinket Trade is gone. Oh my God, Treasure Trash. Okay, that's kind of sad. That's kind of sad. I like this card. Yeah, Darkness card gone. Darkness card gone. Darkness gone. Yordle in Arms gone. Wiccan. Group Shot is gone. Battle City is dead, guys. It's done for. Actually, they still have Nora. They're not dead, dead, but they're kind of dead with this card gone. Yordle portal gone. That's a buff. Like every bad card getting rotated is a buff to conch as well. Fey 8 gone. Another buff to conch. Bird is gone. This is this card was kind of played in um outside of bar 2. So this matters. Nor Nora is safe. Nora is safe. Nora is still here. Blooming cultist gone. Mecha pulverizer gone. Paper tree my beloved. No. <laughs> Okay. Sudden search. Drop the bomb. Wow. <laughs> oh, <Jeff. laughs> 
<laughs> we lost. Paper tree and darking staff. <laughs> no. And that was Bandle City. That was everything that's gone for Bandle City. Conch is still in. All the portal cards are still in. I, the biggest loss for Bandle City is, I mean, Bird, Telstones, Tricks, Trinket Trade, Group Shot, and of course the Paper Tree. Yeah, those are the only ones that matter. Bandle, Telstones, yeah, okay. Group Shot. Yeah, drop the bomb as well. There's a lot of like good removal you could get from Conch. Trinket Trade was also like just a retry almost. Okay, up next. Biltwater. Fizz. Gone. Nami. Gone. Pike. Gone. Shell Shocker. Wow. This card was seeing a lot of play, actually. Interesting. This is a pretty big deal. This is like you have your you play your one mana card in like scouts or something, and then you could play the inspiring light, for example. I mean, I think it's good that it's gone. Zero mana, three sets. Yeah, exactly, man. Beast below. Okay, the, the Deep didn't play this anyway. This doesn't matter. This is actually a buff. This is a buff because now Deep won't generate this anymore from the Jaw Hunters. Jailbreak gone? Playful tricks are gone. Okay, uh, so this card being gone is actually important. Because if the two mana one three... Uh, I forgot the name. The, the, the whole generate one cost spells archetype is still available for Biltwater. Then these cards being gone is very impactful. Poor Colt is gone. Unending Wave gone. Yes, these are all the Darking cards. Eye of Nagake Boros is gone. Wow. That's a really big one. That's the biggest one we've seen so far. In a way, this card was seeing less play because Nila released. But I'm still really surprised to see it's just straight up gone for other decks that weren't really Nila as their champion. Like, what does this mean for Alawi, right? Is Alawi dead now? Or does this mean they're like reverting some Alawi stuff like Idol? This is crazy. The, the fact that Alawi's staying and this is getting removed is wild to me. Swindle, good. I hate this card. Wait, is it? This is... Yeah, from the enemy hand, yeah. Telstone's gone. Is it safe to assume that all Telstones are going to be gone, guys? This one was bad, though. But like three sisters being gone would be big. Okay, Brewer Leader. Journeying Sandhopper. Ebb? I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Nami's gone. Shelly is gone! Woo! Lurk stuff. Yeah. All the lurk stuff is gone. Monkey. Oh, that's kind of sad. I like this card. I kind of get it, you know, with Gangplank coming back. Gangplank back in the game makes sense that this is gone, but still. Boom ship. Burlfish is gone. We stay winning. And power to pandemonium. <laughs> Remember when this was a four mana card that gave everything vulnerable as well? Dear God. Pool shark is gone. Oh my God. This is big. This card being gone feels so crazy to me. Because this has been like more or less a staple since rising time. Not a staple, but it's like it always shows up and has very distinct voice lines. It's sad. More powder. Okay. Coral Creatures is actually gone. So the whole one mana spell archetype is kind of just getting the boot. Siren is gone. You hate to see it. Race go Hunter, whatever. Double Trouble also gone. Chum the Waters. Darken Harpoon. Okay. Uh, that's the build order stuff. So it's pretty safe to assume that all the Darken weapons are going to be gone. Yeah, this, this, was, this was a big list here. This was, this was pretty huge. Eye is gone. Shelly gone, Telstone's gone, all the Lurk stuff, Burble Fish. I'm so happy to see Burble gone, though. My God. It's going to be a whole new world. Okay. Um, up next, Demacia. Lucian, gone. Quinn, gone. Jarvan, gone. Towering Stonehorn? Ah, what? Okay. Sure. For the Fallen? Sure. Greenfang Warden? <laughs> Unyielding Spirit? Relentless Pursuit is gone. What? Detain, gone. Vanguard Cavalry. Senna. Oh. That's a big one. But this card was mostly aimed at, like, Bandle Control and Seraphine. Ah, it's probably fine. Read for this. The two cards rotated by Ian and Boulevard for their winning... Oh. Yo, Ballistic Bot is back! And Boulevard, the Giga Chat, chose Mate Secret Junior to go out. 
Nice. Okay, so this is for the winners from the uh, the mystery event. Their prizes. What a giga chat, man. Ballistic Bob back in. Hell yeah. Okay, continue. Thank you, uh, thank you, Boulevard. Tempting prospect. Okay. Champion strength. Yeah, okay. So, champion strength gone. Relentless pursuit gone. Uh, how, how, how is... How is the Masha going to do the whole I attack a lot thing now? They have Vayne. I guess Galio rallies when he levels up. Even Lucian is gone, though. What the hell? Uh, rip the Masha? Yeah, kind of. All their, all their good card. Like, this was also like a staple, dude. Fish fight is gone? Petroside pillar. <laughs> I like this card. This card is funny. But it wasn't good. Royal decree. Hellstone's gone. Oh my god. There is no way. Holy shit, man. Dude, we're playing an entirely new game. Actually. This, this is not the root terror we know. Oh my god. We have to actually think about deck building now? It's like, you play the monster, you slam this boy in. What am I going to do now? What's my two drop? The wrong protege. Honored Lord. Cataclysm, let's go. I'm so happy to see this card gone. In a nutshell, this card wasn't even problematic, but this card combined with Scout was just dumb. Battle, oh, okay, and now they've done it. Battlefield prowess, man. Penitent Squire, King Jarvan. Even the dad is gone. I held the line. All right, that was Demacia. Wow, that's like the, the build Twitter changes felt impactful, but this, we still have to see the stuff that's coming back though, but this is huge, man. Battlefield prowess is gone, guys. <laughs> okay, so Broadwing, Ranger Knight Defector, even Relentless Pursuit, Mate Seeker. God, Fish Fight. This is really big. I'll miss a Darken. I honestly, I will too. They're very unique. Big Citra is still in, yeah. I, I kind of do like Telsos going away as well, yeah. I do. The flexibility they offer to some decks were, could be pretty ridiculous. I think ultimately like they were fine, but some of them were problematic. Okay, Frolyord. Udir, Goner. Sehwani, Goner. Trinamir, Goner. Shatter. Don't care. Uh, the only way you ever see this card is when Ash uses it like an idiot in Path of Champions. Unforgiven Colt, yes, Darken card. Uh huh. Harbinger of Trolls. It's really interesting. But Lysandra isn't going anywhere, so the fact this is staying, I think it's a good thing. This was one of the most powerful cards for the Thrall archetype. So maybe, maybe some form of Thralls will stay, but they rotate the... Well, we'll see, I guess. We'll see. Hunting Boar, whatever. Cracking Ice, whatever. Oh, this is a big one. This was really good in Jack's Orn. Jack's Orn is catch, catching a lot of strays. Maybe not even strays, but Fish Fight being gone, this being gone. Those were good cards in those, those decks. Mammoth. Bone Scryer. The Time Bomb Counter. Going to Eternal as well. Tusk Speaker. Wow. This is a good card, dude. Can't play this with Gangplank now. Sidwani is also being rotated. Can't play this in any Jin. Yeah, it's a big hit for aggro, it is. Frozen Thrall is gone. So the Thrall key... I hope they, I hope they remove the Thrall summon from Lysandra, Loki. I really hope they do. Draculon Inquisitor. Uh-huh. So all the Thrall stuff is gone. And Tomb. Three Sisters. Oh my god. They are at... Ah, oh, dude. I mean, Frogger has been really good for so long, but this is crazy, man. This is the biggest hit so far, easily. I think Frogger will still be good, though, if this is it. Yeah, another Frozen Thrall card. Buried in Ice! Let's go! Let's go! We did it! No more berries! <laughs> Let's go! That's almost as good as Seraphine being rotated. Hell yeah, dude. Ruther is playable again. No more non-games. No more, oh, nice, back and forth, and then berries. No, that's not a thing anymore. Let's go. Ah, oh, that's good, dude. That's good. I like that. Love it. Cold resistance. Nobody played that. Nobody played that. Nobody played that. Nobody played that. People used to play that when it was plus four, plus four. Tusk Raider. Mm -hmm. Shared spoils. Battle Fury. Oh, okay. No, I mean, Rico Rex is quitting. Rico Rex is just done. He's out. So I'm gonna be honest, I think this is the healthy choice. I really do. This blows out so many games instantly. I know y'all like playing it. I know we all love Rico Rex. I do too. But this is like, 
it, it, it's like the game is over when this card is played. Like th th this card gets countered where you freeze their battlefield unit or they, they beat you. And failure is still good, so. Tremere's gone anyway. I mean, yeah. Tremere didn't main deck this. This was his champion spell, but overall decks with like Darius and Nar would blow out the game with this. Bar Mother's Call, dude. Oh, man. I was really warming up to this card, mostly because I love Volibear. I think Volibear is unironically one of my favorite champions. It makes sense. It, it, it really, it, it, it's, it's, it's to be expected when you think about it. With, with Winter's Touch in the game, with Wild Mysticism, and I, I don't see them rotated. This is like, this would be the same deck for another year, right? You ramp on turn three, then again on turn four, until eventually you play Warmer to Call, and then the game's like kind of done. They gave Grappler Braum, but took away his Karma and War Mothers. Bro, look at last year, man. Y'all feel bad for Grappler because he's losing Karma and War Mother? Look at me last year. Victor, Ziggs, R Riven is gone now. Zoe, Aphelio, Steric, all of it. Who is this fate? Howling Abyss, Glory's Evolution. I'm still here. I'm still kicking. I stayed strong and I get rewarded because they rotated Seraphine. <laughs> Aw, okay, I'm kind of sad to see this. Especially with Ballistic Bot back in the game. That would have been fun. Avros and Hardguard. LeBlanc is gone and this. So they're, uh, they're really nuking the Ash archetype. I, I think the 5 power archetype is just dead now. Like, you, you can still play Ash with Frostbite stuff, but there's no more like 5 power synergy. It makes sense, because look what happened last year, right? Last year, when rotation happened, LeBlanc Ash was one of the best decks in the game. Darken equipment are remaining in. They changed it from the early list they gave me. Oh, okay, so Darken equipment are staying in. So this is wrong. This is staying in. That's big. And I think that's the right choice, too. I'll be honest. Darken equipment are staying, boys! We still have some Darken in the game. Just not the champions. Nice. I, everybody liked that. Everybody liked that. And that was Fralyard. Big changes for Fralyard. Like, it's actually just, like, escalating, right? Like, Battle City looked pretty big with Group Shot, but compared to Build there was nothing. Builds better compared to the Masha was nothing. And now Fraliard. War Mother is so many staples. Three sisters, like actual staples. Barry's gone? God, okay, I, I kind of want to just keep going. Let's see. Ari. Rip Bozo. Zed, gone. Karma, dead. Buried. Cloud Drinker. Aw. This was funny with the gems. Remember when we played this, Chad? We played Cloud Drinker with Elder Dragon, and we had a funny little hand buff deck. It sucked. It was really bad. <laughs> so who cares? Neil, oh, Mina. Not Neela. Mina. If Maja was still playing, I would feel bad for him. God, stop feeling bad for other people. You didn't feel, did people feel bad? For, actually, you guys probably did. You probably, probably did feel bad for me last year. I'll be honest. I had it rough, man. Well, this is not a main deckable card. So, Hostian Disciple is gone. I think that's what that means. Now, that was, that's kind of sad, actually. I did like that card. And it's, uh, it's a Master Yi card. Master, you're staying. But he's losing one of his best cards. Shadow Black Fanatic, Cultist. Black Flame! Oh man. I like this card. This is one of the only cool cards. The Maker. Okay. Telstones, yep. Tailcloak Matriarch. Nine. Wow, okay, this card? This card was seeing a lot of play after they buffed the Liminal Guardian to a 4-2. The Liminal Guardian summoned a 4-2 and a 1-drop. And this card became like a burst speed blocker that was just extremely powerful for Ionia control decks. Also a really good Rise card. I'm, I'm happy to see this gone. Screw this card. Children of the Forest. It's gone. Coastal Defender. Whatever. Syncopation. Kind of a fun card. Sad to see it gone. Shadows of the Past. Whatever. Monastery of Verona. Whatever. Singular Will. I'm surprised this card didn't see more play. It felt really playable at 9 mana. Flurry of Fists. Mm hmm Yeah, there's also, this is like a card that's the same as Battle Fury, but Ionia doesn't have overall units, so it saw a lot less play. But this at three mana was obviously broken. They did it to four, it never saw play again. Yeah. Oh yeah, we have to consider that Yasuo is coming back. You're right. Scales, horns, concussive palm! Oh my god. Nice. <laughs> Kill. <gasps> Let's go! Elusive! Ionia Elusives, it's gone! The Gwen Zed Elusive in Disguise deck!
Oh my god, what is Yasuo? Hey, you're right, Yasuo is back and Kazuo Pop is gone? Shadowfin Ghost, oh man. Is Rush still in? Guys, is Rush okay? Has anyone else seen Rush? I hope Rush is still in the game, man. Okay, so this is staying, this is not actually rotated. That was it, Rush is still in the game! We won. Refresh? Alright. So that was Ioniar. Uh, honestly, pretty mild except for Kong, Con Concussive Palm, which is like a big one. Yeah, like none of this really matters compared to Concussive Palm, like at all. This is this is the one card that really, uh, whew, that's the big one. Okay, let's see. Nox, this is going to be interesting. Riven, dead. LeBlanc, destroyed. Darius, decayed. Savage Reckoner. Dead, I guess. Whirling Death. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, Darius is out of here. Nefarian Hopeful. Legion Drummer. Brothers Bond. Reckless Trifarian. Elixir. Fra oh, all the aggro car. Like, all the very aggressive units are rotating. Ionian Hookmaster. Damn. Remember when this was a 1 1? Sad life. Furious Wielder. Yeah, with Dark and Gone. That makes sense. Reveler's Feast as well. I wonder why. This card didn't seem like was problematic. Crimson Pigeon. Vladimir comes back and the pigeon leaves. I mean, yeah, I guess. Decimate is back. Okay, big one, big one. Yeah, if that stuff is rotating, I can kind of see Decimate coming back, but man, am I happy with it? Disintegrate, good. Oh, let's go! Let's go! Lord Romain! Oh my god, this rotation is so sick! Seraphine group shot Lord Brumman? Get him out of here, dude. Get him out of here. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. This was the one I censored. Oh, this makes me so happy, dude. Oh my god. Censored for what? I for where was I? Why would I even be able to see it except the the thing they said? Oh man. In the Discord, ah, I see. Man, I'm I'm happy about this one. Let's freaking go. Calzones, yep. Training pits. Fallen Reckoner. This was a good card, but stop seeing play. I forgot that it this was like a 4-3, right? Or something. This was an interesting card. Just a bit broken back when Katarina Gwen was good. For glory. Incisive tactician. Yeah, what is Ash gonna do now? Rune Weaver. <laughs> Oh man, weapon hilt. Oh, don't hurt me like this. That's my rivet stuff. Apprehend. <laughs> It'd be funny if they kept this card with Darius around. Glinthorn. Iron Ballista. Wow, they really just don't want like the, the straightforward overall decks to exist anymore, huh? Darius gone. This gone. Battle Fury gone. City Breaker. That was it. Wait, so they're keeping the one drop? They're keeping the two one from Riven? That's interesting. Yeah, the two one is staying, I guess. And so is, uh, what? That's so weird. They're rotating Riven and they're keeping the Challenger and the other two one? Yeah, Reforce still exists, but it's gonna be so hard to get the Blade. Yeah, the Challenger, that's what I mean, and the two one with Death Rattle. They for Gore? <laughs> they just for Gore to rotate someone with Riven stuff? Uh, I mean, I guess I'll take it. There's Roxy. Yeah, it's the same dude, actually. It's exactly the same dude. Get him! Seraph Bean! Heimer. Mm -hmm. Aspire Plans, okay. Hex Bliterator, wow. Interesting. Zon Diva, Violent Discord, Mushroom Cloud. Nobody main decked that anyway. Pursuit of Perfection. I mean, this card was only playable with Seraphine. We wouldn't see this without her. Sure. Sawnite Urchin. Oh my god. That's so big. I mean, with, 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 with Jinx staying and with Lulu coming back, I think this is necessary. But that's, god. That's unreal. Subversible. Okay. Gotcha is gone. I'm pretty surprised because I played this card a lot with the uh, with the updraft stuff. I thought it was really interesting to to like get rid of the downside like that. Oh my god, what the hell? That's one of the biggest ones we've seen. Armed gearhead, time miner, production search. Yeah, officer squad, station archivist. I'm so confused. With Aftershock gone, okay, all of these, yeah, Telstones, yep. Encore, Caustic Riff, 
High note. Bouncer. Acorn is gone. That's a big one. Crowd pleaser. Okay, that's really like. I would assume that they're hardcore nerfing Sunken Temple with this. Like Aftershock being gone? You're 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 basically forced to play the explorers now if you want to deal with temple. Every deck needs explorers. And I don't I don't know if I like that. Okay. Shadow Isles. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Champion's gone. Scribe of Sorrows. Okay. Rekindler is gone. Very interesting. Just because of Elder Dragon Sins, huh? Opulent Fouilleux. Fouilleux. Man. This was a big one, too. This got hit. This got played in so many decks. Very, very, very big Gwen card that's now gone. Utter Devastation. Shape of Fear. Yeah, that's hit two more. Not Elder Dragon, right? Vora, nobody really played that. Catalog of Regrets, Expected, Watcher, yeah, Darkness stuff. I'm glad that everything is kind of grouped together like this, by the way, Marshall, like the Darkness stuff. Mask Mother, I like that card. Spirit Leech as a 4-1. Crawling Viper Worm, Wings and a Wave. Crumble, more Landmark removal being gone, Dusk Rider. Passage Unearned. Damn, I guess now I got to play Mini Morph in my decks. Sap magic. Okay. Sapling toss. Undying. Oh, man. I guess... I guess... It's expected. But this is a fun card. This is a, a rune terror classic, man. Miss call. No, my printing! Oh, man. They hit, they hit a lot of fun stuff in SI, to be honest. Uh, undying. Miss call. Or Kindler. Yeah, a lot of the... A lot of the Cheating champions onto the board is now no longer possible. I can see why they did it, but it hurts deeply. What if they took all printing? Be a sad. Ah, as long as evil imperfection. I mean, we we went over PNC, right? Yeah, evil imperfection still lives. It's all good. Okay, here we go. Shurima, Akshan, Rek'Sai, Renekton. Call the pack. Yeah, Forsaken. Oh my God, this might be the single biggest one we've seen, and Shurima is kind of ass. <laughs> so I, huh? Oh my god! This changes everything. Yeah, Azir and Ness are in. Curse of the Tomb, Altar of Blood, Swinging Glaive, Rock Bear Shepherd, dude. The uh, Sun Disk is dead. They might as well rotate Sun Disk. Is, is Sun Disk in the list? I wouldn't be surprised. Priestess, you're joking, right? Devoted, send it. Is it actually is Sun Disc actually in here? Grappling hook, okay. Wow. Voice of the Risen. This is the echo. Oh, echo, echo card gone. Nice. Echo Jinx is worse now. Probably unplayable without this card. Wow. Okay. Uh, this is really like this card? And indirectly discard were like the only reason that Shreem was like remotely playable. Like Swinging Glaive was only an Akshan card, so I would expect this to go with Akshan. But Rock Bear Shepherd and Forsaken Bakai is wild to me. Maybe they get some good stuff back, I guess. Man, I'm sad to see Rock Bear Shepherd gone. I love this card. Targon, here we go. All right, the big one, the big one. Diana, gone. Yumi, gone. Pantheon, gone. Kill, gone. Hurts. Wandering Shepherd. Good card. Purifying Flames. Elusive card. Wing Messenger. There it is. Yeah, I called it, man. I called it. All right. It's out of here. Divine Clerk. Kind of sad to see this one go to. A lot of good one drops are gone from the game now, guys. Cultus, yeah. Oh, whoo, Draconic Bands. What can Jax play? I mean, let's be honest. Jax... Oh my god, they're removing Zolani. Ah, oh, this hurts, man. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. If Poraking stays, Zolani probably had to go. Because we are going to, like, a lower power level format, and Poros would just be dominating it. However, Poros have also been going to Piltover. So I don't even know, man. I love this card, man. I love this card. It's iconic. Seal and Steel, uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, Esmacy. Gone. <laughs> because Bart's gone. God, I play this card so much, man. 
The winning light. I'm going to miss this card. Saw it coming, but God, am I going to miss the Telstones. Mystic Vortex. Uh-huh. Eula. Nobody played this card with Ruby-Eyed Conjurer in the game anyway. Camp or sad to see go. Part of the Pantheon package. Faded. Shield Vault. Okay. Ooh. This is why they brought back Aphelios. Oh, man. Sheesh. Yeah, there it is. Aphelios is back, but one of his best cards is now gone. Alright, well, Youngling, we haven't seen yet, so there is hope. All the Nightfall stuff is gone. So, uh, Nightfall is gone, but Daybreak is staying, huh? Uh-huh. That was it. Uh, pretty... I mean, some good cards, but with Aphelios coming back, and Derek, this is pretty tame, I guess. Esma is expected. Um, Lunari Dustbringer is a really big one. Solani is a big one, too. Telstone's huge. Even Moonlight Affliction is pretty big. But yeah, Youngling is staying. And so is Ruby Eyed Conjurer. I'm expecting those two cards to be, like, key. Yeah, so Solari Soldier is probably going to be the single best one drop in the game now, right? I mean, depending on what comes back. But Solari Soldier is a one mana 3 3, and it's still, like, within the Daybreak archetype. I think, um, here, here's my prediction. I don't know what the new cards are going to do, but Leona and Vladimir, it's going to be tier one. Unless there are nerves. Leona Vladimir is going to be like the best deck in the game. Pill Cascade. Yeah, Pill Cascade is still in too. Thank God. So that was it for all the cards that are rotated. All the cards that are gone from the game are now known to us. And honestly, huge changes. But let's look at the cards that are coming back. Lulu. Back in the game. Huge. Uh, this is going to be a very good card here. Inventive Chemist. Oh my god. This is a huge card. One of the best one drops in the entire game. Aggro might yet live. Purple Berry Shake, what? They're bringing back the transform stat stuff? Huh. Protection in Battle City. The, the, this card is really annoying to play around. <laughs> Which is why I don't love it. It can be generated from Conch too. Yordle Newbie. Alright, whatever. Yordle Smith. Does that matter? I don't really see how this matters. Flame Spitter. Okay. I don't see this card doing anything. Because Brother's Bond is gone. So why would this matter? Brother's Bond didn't see any play. Prowling Projectile? Why? <laughs> For Morgana? What? Who would play this? Oh, and Trapman is huge. Wait, it's an evil imperfectionist counter. Oh, no, man. I've been blown out by this. Worst cards for Kanji. Yeah, true. Oh, Jesus. This card is messy, dude. It's a fun card, though. It's a fun card to play with. Hothead is back. Yo, I love this card. I love this fella. Spirit Portal to play this card. One grand. All allies plus one plus one. I don't know if this matters. Like, Lulu Chompers is something to look out for. Loping telescope? There's no way. <laughs> I'm at three mana. I'm I'm okay with it. You know, I'm okay with it. We can yell e e e. Cool. Who even is this guy, man? I don't even play him. Play him in Path of Champions in my Vagar deck. Stress defense. Holy, wow! They actually brought it back. Okay, interesting. Wasn't expecting this. this. This is a game changer. Generatable. Ember Monk is... I like this card. And I think this card is low-key, like, pretty playable at 3 mana. Uh, this card is not bad. Weirdly enough. Scholarly Climber. This guy beats me up in his Zoe decks. Risu is back as well. Okay. Arena Mecha Caster. Sure. Alright, that's it for Battle City. Let's just move on. Um, a lot of good cards returning, though. Stress Defense, especially. Okay, Gangplank's back. Here we go. Yibin Warrant. Uh, sure. It's like Coral Creatures got rotated, so I don't know how many cards there are left that can generate one cost cards. This is mostly like important for cards that can be generated. Golden <laughs> Normal, okay. 
Whatever. Monkey Idol is back! No shots. Wait, really? Okay. That's kind of cool. I the Monkey Idol's cool, man. They rotate monkey business and they bring back the idol. Yeah, trash gangplank, actually. D oh my god, man. Pirate Aggro is just going to be the best deck. Yeah, Dreadway is back. Oh, that was it? That was it for... Was that really it? For... Wow. Bill I got like five cards. Is that correct? Oh, this is the card that deals 14 damage nexus. <laughs> Surely this means Decimate is not coming back, right? Surely that means it's just double up and not Decimate. Okay, okay, let's keep going. Fiora, Dragon Chow, no! Okay, we're, we're so back. We're so back. Oh my god. Are you serious? Dude, that's insane. That is so big. Shivana, Elder Dragon, Morgana was just like top tier. With this, it like through the roof. That's insane, man. This is nuts. This is so insane. There is going to have to be serious nerfs to Elder Dragon. There's no other way. Create a hand like random 6 plus cost spell from Arena other than the Mushroom. Why? Oh, wait, is this, was this always there? From a region other than the Mafia? Was this text always here? Is this new text? I think this is new text. That's really cool, actually. Wow. I love that. I love that text. Not new? Always been there? Really? How did I not know this? I never played this card. It isn't new? I didn't know this. I actually love that. Interesting. Lauren Prodigy is back. My man doesn't recard. I need more cards like this. Just no text. I thought text. Oh, well, yeah, apparently it was. I just didn't know. I don't play that card, man. <laughs> All right. Lauren Prodigy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, important. Important card, especially with Tarek back in the game. Vanguard Redeemer. Yeah, so um, basically, the Masha got two card draw cards Dragon Chow and this. Okay. Lauren Bladekeeper. Petricide Stag. I think all damage for my supported ally this round. All right, uh, yeah, sure. You can like protect your Fiora with this or something. I don't know. Lawrence Chevalier. Cool card. I like this. This is a uh, this was a Shen Fiora card. I don't know if it is anymore because it's like another four drop. Great Horn Companion. So we are still allowed to have scout cards in the game, just not the good ones. What is this? What is this? What is this? I love Tarek, but like... But like... This is all we're gonna see now. Champion Strength is gone, Relentless Pursuit is gone, I'll just take that for the win that it is, okay? I don't know, man. That's... That's... I mean, I think this card is healthier to have in a game, but with Tarek around as well, man. Woo! All right. Fjord Eric. Swift Wing Lancer. Elite. Oh, this is a bird? Huh. Okay. Maybe this is a Nico card. Citria is back. God damn. Stalking Brute Mother is back. Bright Steel Formation is back. I mean, at night mana. Wow, really? Uh, okay. I mean, I'm just, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep going. From Unscart Reaver, so we rotate Pigeon and we get this back. Sure, good card for Braum Vladimir. Troll Scavenger. I don't know why. I don't see why this card is here, but sure. Scar grounds, boys. All right, we're 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 back. Braum Vladimir, it's so back. Take heart, Scar Thane Stefan. 
Yeah, it's all the Scar stuff. Even Ember Maiden. Oh, I don't like this card, though. Ryan Fang Wolf. Okay. Dark ass. Scarman of Rihanna. Yeah. What? There's no way they're bringing this back. There is no way. What? Dude, has anyone played against Elder Dragon with this card in it? It is disgusting. I don't even, like, it's an overwhelm card. Cool. Play your overwhelm deck. But this with Eddie is insane. Elder Dragon needs to be changed. There is no way they're bringing this back otherwise. There is no way. And he can, listen, Dragon Master, I want to clarify. I love Elder Dragon. And I love Elder Dragon enough to make him be the centerpiece in his own decks. And not just a one-off to enable the region so you can play cringe like this. I want Elder Dragon to shine and be unstoppable. I don't want to win the game through this garbage, man. What? Has anyone played against the Akshan Sivir Elder Dragon deck? It's so disgusting. It's just like Ancient Yeti. It's Guardian of the Peak. It's all these like zero mana cards that get a boon. And this is like, how do you beat that? Man. Hey, Yasuo. Okay, I'm okay with Health Potion being back if Karma's rotated. <laughs> sure. Picks. Flower Child. Oh, I love them. Just as beautiful as the day they left us. All the support stuff. <laughs> Green Light Lookout. Okay. Um, interesting. Fuzzy Caretaker. Yeah, there they are. Ritual of Renewal. Oh, I didn't even know this card was rotated, Loki. I mean, it's, it was in Telstones. So. Arbiter's Rotate. Yeah, it's in Eternal. <laughs> Unless they're bringing it back. Oh, yeah, we, don't, we didn't get ARAM. No, no. I mean, it was expected. Why is this coming back? Well, nobody, nobody asked for this. With, with Green Glade Duo being gone, though, I'm low key like okay with it. But, hmm. This is a Sparkle Fly. Scattered Pod is back. You know, with Con... Oh, okay, even the boat. With Concussive Palm? Yone. Concussive Palm gone, this kind of makes sense, you know. Was he always six mana? Was it, wasn't he seven at some point? I don't remember. All right, I mean, uh, that looks pretty good for Yasuo, honestly. Okay, uh, Noxus. This, this is going to be... A big deal because Noxus has not been that good lately. So let's see what it is. Crimson Blood Letter. So this is probably why they got rid of the, the pigeon, right? This is the replacement for pigeon. It's not nearly as good, but it is fine for Vladimir. Blade's Edge. Sure. With Broadman being rotated, sure. Crimson Aristocrat. Hell yeah. I like this card. Um, I like this card less. Because there's a lot of good aggro cards here. Bookie! Yo, they're bringing back Bookie? Nox and Guillotine. Okay. Lord of the Rose. Honestly, I forgot this card was rotated. Uh, this is not bad, though. It's also not great. Some pings are getting rotated. Like, Group Shot got rotated. Python's is still in the game. Blade Edge came back. Probably still unplayable. They didn't. Oh my god. They're bringing this back? Hmm. It's like when everything put into context. What made this card frustrating? It was Flock, right? Ravenous Flock made this card really frustrating. So is it fine without Flock in the game? Oh, this card is insane for Nico. This is such a good Nico card. Wow. Yeah, this must be what they were talking about with Nico. Annie Jin as well. Jesus Christ. Y you can play Nora Jin now with this card. Oh my god. Yeah, a lot of stuns are coming back. I mean, this this has to be because of Yasuo, right? Like, th this is how you need to play Yasuo now? Yasuo Swain? Nora Jin without Brotmain? I guess. I, I really don't think it matters that much. Honestly. I think it matters, but I don't think it matters that much. Because with that deck, you're basically playing for the Riptide anyway. And like, don't get me wrong, it's 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 a hit, but 
I'm gonna have to see other Nurse because there's really no reason to play Nora Jin if Nora Elder Dragon still exists. No, it, it doesn't exist because uh, Burblefish and stuff got rotated. Yasuo Nico, actually though, wait. Oh my god, that's probably it. Wait, <laughs> but 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 Yasuo doesn't have an archetype or a subtype. But Fey Blade Roller does. Fey Blade Roller, Blade Roller is a Yordle. I it might be onto something. Okay. Crowd favorite. Uh huh. This is a this is a card I played a lot. Thriller rotate. Is it? No, oh, I didn't come back. I guess. No, isn't it still in? No, I'm probably misremembering. No, it's probably not in. Never mind. Draven is not in standard. No, but this card to me was like the Poro Cannon card. You know, like you Poro Cannon it and you make your Riven or Victor invulnerable. I don't see where this is play right now. I don't. You need access to make this one? No, it was a Poro Cannon card. It was Poro Cannon, um, sometimes like Zonite Urchin, Rummage. But I mean, access is obviously good too, like don't get me wrong. But you, you didn't really play this in like Scion Draven and stuff. <laughs> Shampo? No shot, dude. Oh my god. Captive Yeti? Interesting. Like, I think these are all pretty meaningful in their own right. Like, Noxus is a really flexible region. There are going to be decks where, like, almost every single one of these cards will see some amount of play in one way or another. I accept this one. <laughs> okay, built over. Here we go. <laughs> Thermobanagenic Beam? My god. Stress testing? You're joking! Really? Oh my god. Bro, this card with Nila? Are you kidding me? Zonite Urchin is rotated, but god, this card is nuts, man. Wow. Why? God, this. I hate this card because I play Jinx deck sometimes and I'm just like, I don't want. This. His face it just annoys me, man. I don't. What are you? I. Two mana, two one, refill, two spell, whatever, man. <laughs> Stupid card. Hmm. Uh huh. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? I mean, it's for Jace. As long as Heimerdinger is gone, I think this card can exist. But man, this card creates problems sometimes. Look at his face, dude. What's Mogwai doing back in the game? Okay, I mean, cool, I guess. That's yeah, cool play patterns. Patrol Wardens as well. Mm -hmm. Assembly bot. Hexcore Foundry. No. Man. Okay, we're we're gonna we're gonna pull some shenanigans and standard with these cars back, dude. Foundry, are you serious? All the landmark removal is gone, and we're bringing back Foundry? Jesus Christ. Bro, I'm going to be playing this card with the new uh, Fishmonger. Oh, my God. Yeah, Foundry with Janna, dude. Oh, my God. Isn't Temple better? They're completely different card. They have completely different, like, functionalities. They're played in different decks. I mean, you could probably play them in the same deck, but having two landmarks is never great. I don't even know how good this is. It's just... This card is hilarious. Defect the swap bot. Can he stop Elder Dragon? Static shock. I don't think this is great nowadays. Maybe it's like a Morgana card or something. <gasps> They're bringing it back? Oh my god. It's not real, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are they cooking? Glorious evolution? Oh my god. Okay, they 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 gave they gave me some love. They they showed some sunny love here. I I played this card before it was like even semi-playable, but this card, dude. Oh my god. God. I don't even know what to it's wild. There's fun stuff you can do with this card. It's great stuff you can do with this card. And we're going to. 
Trash. Tekarim. Oblivious Islander. This... This card? This card, do not sleep on it. That's all I'm gonna say. This card is messed up in the right hand. The... Um, the 5-mana five 5-5 five five that can't get Ephemeral and instead gets a stat buff is in the game. That could be like a 4-mana 6-6, six six, I think, because of this card. Yeah, with Mordekaiser too. God. Huh? That Relic is back. Onslaught of Shadows. I don't care about these cards. Iron Harbinger. Oh, the Deathless Dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, Blighted Caretaker. Uh-huh. I mean, this is a trash card. Trash... Wait, Trash... Oh my god, Trash Nasus is back. Jesus, I completely missed that, man. Yeah, Trash Nasus is back, and it's gonna be, like, top tier. Blighted Caretaker as well? More? Yeah, maybe, maybe it's, like, Trash Mord at this point, so you don't have to go Shurima. This card is nuts. There's no... There's no Butcher, though. There's no, uh, Cursed Keeper. So maybe it's not that good, but this is a, this card is a big deal. Box is back. Steered spirits. Oh, that was it. Okay, I mean, honestly, still pretty meaningful for SI. Okay, Shurima. Siver. Shaped stone. Does that matter? I don't know. This was like an auction card, right? I guess with Rock Hopper, maybe? Maybe this is like, this is what we needed for Talia Malphite. Nasus is in standard, yeah. What? What? Huh? No Zareth? No Ziggs? No Zillion? They're bringing back right of This is a crazy card because it seemed like they wanted to get rid of the destroy an allied landmark thing entirely. There is no... I mean, there's still synergy with a card like this, but that's so crazy. Oh, oh my... Oh, oh my god. Don't do this to me, Riot. Can we get Preservarium? Please. Please give me Preservarium. Oh my god, right? This is literally my card. No. No. What the- WHAT?! What is this?! Oh... Okay? This is why Zolani got rotated. Cool card. Careful prep. <laughs> oh, there's two zillion cards. No, man! No! We were this close! We were this close to bringing Shurima back. This close. What do these cards do, man? What do I do with a Rite of Passage now? What? Why is this card here? Where's my Preservarium? Oh, God damn it. Alright. Well. Here we go. Don't let me down this time. What is coming back for Targon? Two great champions. Oh, <laughs> yes. Great five messenger. Okay. Starbone, please. Starbone. Okay. Good. Good for Malphite. Oh, my God. They're back. It's so back. Support. Tarek Lulu is going to be top tier, boys. I'm calling it. Mountain Goat. Yes. Oh, my God. It's happening! Chad, it's happening! Oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> this card is this card is top tier. This card is so good. Why are you back? What? What are they doing? I mean this card sucks still, but what? Earth Elemental? Oh man, I'm gonna cook. They're just, they're, they're just rubbing it in my face, man. It's like, here, here's a Zoe card, but you can't have Zoe. Here's a Zillion card, but you can't have Zillion. Here's a Zareth card, but you can't have Zareth. Here's a Ziggs card, but you can't have Ziggs. I see you, Riot. No. They have to change Elder Dragon. This is ridiculous. This is, yeah, and Glory's Evolution for Victor. Oh, this is so dumb. I mean, I'm okay with it. I like these cards. But I don't like them if Elder Dragon is the way it is. Yeah, Morgana Elder is through the roof with this card. There have to be some nerfs. Like Sunk Temples in the game with Aftershock and Crumble Remove. There's this. There, there should be some nerfs. This is, this is nuts. Okay. 
<laughs> oh my god, we're actually bringing back gems? Oh my god, that makes me so happy. Let's go. This card suck. <gasps> it's complete. We're done. It's over. We won. Ah, oh, full circle. Messenger Sigil and Starbone. The Star Boner is back, and so is mine. Let's go, dude. Oh, that was it. All right, well, a perfect one to end it on. Perfect one to end it on. Oh, that was great. That was awesome. No Howling Abyss, though. <laughs> no Howling Abyss. That's the only big miss. But I don't think they could realistically bring that back. Okay, I mean, I, I'm very curious what you guys think about all the rotation. A big shout out to the LOR report, of course. Thank you, Marshall. Thank you for getting this all organized and ready. It means a lot because this is infinitely better than last year. This is an actual rotation reveal to get hyped about. Hell yeah. Starbone plus Temple, man, you know it. I'm going to be printing the hell out of Starbone. With a new year and a new set comes a new standard rotation, and I wanted to take some time to talk through our design process and preview some of the cards leaving and returning to standard. Although LOR PvP will be changing a lot in the future, we still want both standard and eternal to feel like healthy formats with their own diverse metagame, and rotation is key to that. We're making some surprising changes across all cards this rotation, but for this article, I'm going to focus on the champions and maybe sneaking some non-champion hints where I can. Okay, so here we go. Champions. Out. Pike. Rek'Sai. Lurk is gone. Vagar. Senna. Darkness is gone. Diana Nocturne. Nightfall is gone. Okay, so to, uh, to add some context to everything. Okay. So now we know all the champions. So what doesn't kill you makes you stronger than needs improvement champs. So we want every champ that hits the table to feel like it's worthy of that title. But let's be honest, they don't always land where you want them to. Even if every champ has its own set of fans who will swear that it's totally B tier, if you believe hard enough, there are some who have struggled to become relevant. But they don't have to stay that way. And sometimes all you need is a quick eternal vacation and some live patch surgery to come back living your best life. In eternal, we could take bigger risks since the format is more powerful and less likely to tip over due to a balance issue. So these champions, I can kind of, this, this starts making more sense because these are all like super straightforward in what they do, except I don't think that's true for Jarvan and maybe Kalista, but baseline these champ, uh, even kill. Baseline, these are just like stat sticks with a little bit of bonus. But Walrus, you say, Trash, Yasuo, and Vi didn't receive any buffs in Eternal, which is true, but as any Yasuo player will tell you, just wait, we scale. The zero temp power spike. With standard having a lower power level, we're bringing back a couple of rotated champs that we think can be more competitive in a lower power format and struggle to make a dent in Eternal. One of the great things about a changing format like standard is that strength is very context dependent. A few new tools can be all you need to go from hard times to hard to beat. Okay. Yeah, so these are um, these are also like pretty straightforward champions. They they do something very simple. I I think Vi <clears throat> might be pretty good because um what's it called? The flame spitter exists. Like I could totally see a piltover Noxus deck. It also depends on the rest of rotation, obviously, but a Noxus piltover deck that runs Might and the Flame Spitter would be really good. And this is probably the reason why they rotated Riven, because that would be a very good deck. Better off alone, the breakup champs. Hammerdinger, Quinn, Sejuani Zed, in Hecarim, Lulu, Gangplank. Speaking of changing context, our next, next set of champs are all about stepping out of their comfort zones and into a new world of exciting life on their own. For much of LOR, we have designed champs as pairs, or threes with rel related mechanics. There's a lot of merit to this design strategy as it gives the champ a natural home and gives some straightforward to deck building hooks for new mechanics. But it can also lock certain champs together, causing certain dominant strategy to become re repetitive. Makes sense? These locked pairings can also mean that a champion is balanced around their strongest use case and can't really broaden their horizons. Hecarim Z is a mostly known quantity, but can Hecarim Azir bring a different flavor of ephemeral aggro to standard? Where will Jace go now that his mentor Heimerdinger has left the format? Will Gangplank and Misfortune succeed with their old first mates marooned in Eternal? Well, may oh. Uh, yeah, but this is just pirate aggro. So sure, like, Quinn is gone, Sejuani's now gone. But then we just have, like, another deck that was playable for, like, years. Okay. Maybe that last one is the best example. Yeah, exactly. But we still want to see what new synergies emerge once the more clear choices are taken away. Yeah, okay. 
if, if Decimate is back in, yeah, we, we already know what the dominating deck is going to be for the rest of the year. Embrace the unexpected, even if it scares you. The weird champs. Yumi, calling Riven, you're calling Bard weird? Yumi, Riven, Bard, Kane, Varus, Aatrox, Rise, in Tarek Fjord. Some of the most controversial archetypes in LOR have one thing in common. Alternate win conditions. Sometimes this is literal, like Rise and his world runes. But sometimes it also means having a strategy that is unique enough that the opponent struggles to interact with it normally. Such as Riven buffing a unit to 40 attack out of nowhere, or Bart dude-duding his way to 300 chimes, or Aatrox ending the world and running you over at huge Tarkin. As my deck collection of 20 different Rise decks can attest, these unique strategies can be really exciting to play, but they can also be very frustrating to play against, because they operate slightly off the normal axis of the game. They're cool when they're the unlikely underdog who surprises you with a strong match, and infuriating when they're meta-dominant and you have to bend over backwards to combat them. See, I don't disagree, but Riven, man. These strategies are important to keeping the game fresh, they inspire deck builders, create memorable moments, and keep every matchup from being a units versus removal affair. But that variety starts to fall flat when the same alternate win conditions stick around. As the name suggests, these decks need to alternate to stay fresh, and that's why we're taking out some familiar faces and bringing back Fiora and Tarek. While Fiora has been dominant in the past, we felt like she hit a good balance right before the first rotation, and she's primed for a return. Similarly, while Tarek was dominant with Poppy before his trip to Eternal, we want to bring him back without his Bandle buddy because his support center game plan is so unique. See, I love Tarek. I do. Goodbye doesn't mean forever. The texture champs. LeBlanc, Piz, Nami, Karma, Seraphine, Akshan, Pantheon. I want him to say something about Seraphine so bad. In Aphelios and Saber. There are a lot of very familiar, popular names in that list, so let's take a brief moment of silence. Or celebration. Celebration. Absolutely. Thank you. This group of rotation champs is all about fulfilling a major goal for this and future rotations, making standard feel meaningfully different from both eternal and previous standard formats. For the first rotation, we had to focus our energy on establishing a new power level for standard, and I do think we hit that goal. But because we left in a number of format, format stalwarts, the standard meta often looked a lot like things we had seen before. Champs like Seraphine and Akshan can play in a number of different decks, but the general experience of them is often the same, no matter which format they're in. And as long as they stayed strong, they'd always be leading the conversation of what decks were playable. Okay, true. I feel it was kind of like hits that same description though. But, you know, Targon's been kind of bad, so. You'll also probably notice that a lot of the champs in this list are very spell-centric, and that's not an accident. Because of LOR's core rules, spells and reactivity have a natural advantage. Saving spell mana, using the stack to react to your opponent's plays, and the limited number of units you can have at one time all mean that the game engine favors playing lots of spells anyways. And these spell slinger champs really lean into that advantage. Yeah, I'll say, man. Goddamn cringe-ass archetypes. This also makes spell-centric champs much harder to nerf, because their most potent advantages are in how synergistic their decks are, rather than what's on a champion card. Since these strategies have been dominant for so long, we want to try standard with fewer options in this space and see how the meta evolves. I love this. I, lo I, I don't like spell archetypes that much because it, it really does feel like it kind of just avoids a lot of the core mechanics of Runeterra. And I'm not saying that spells shouldn't be played or shouldn't be powerful. It just means that because these champions exist, they create ways that using certain spells to react to your opponent just means that whatever you're trying to play just doesn't matter because they always have the upper hand. While it's important for all rotating cards, I do specifically want to call out these a call out for these champs. We do not want to lock them in eternal forever. For standard to make sense as a thriving format, we need future rotations and the team is already planning for that as I write this. While we want to take a break from Fizz showing up every time we print new builds for the cards, there's almost certainly a world where he can slip back into standard. And the same is true for most, if not all, of the champs leaving during this rotation. But wait, there's more. If you've made it this far, you've seen all of the champs that will make up the new standard environment. But you cannot build a deck with champs alone. While I can't list off all of the rotating cards here, I can give a couple of hints about what you can expect in the upcoming season. Ooh. An old ally that also might be something for Nico to look into. A spell that deals 4 damage to the enemy nexus. Oh my god. A fearsome version of an old friend, a mighty monster that's good to have on hand, a stunning return and another that costs twice as much for twice the effect, the best blocker for when you want to kill your opponent, a way to really punish those sleeping on the job, 
A card that has a lot of synergy with one new mechanic and very little with another. Woof, 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 woof. What does this mean? What does any of this mean? An old ally that also might be something for Nico to look into? The, the, the upcoming season. A mighty monster that's good to have on. What is what are... Stardogs? Stardogs are still in standard. Stardogs were always in standard. They were just garbage because there was no Taric and no printing. Um, woof, 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 woof. It has to be Warwick, right? This is Warwick. This is Warwick for Arcane. Surely. <laughs> because uh, uh, Warwick barks. Okay, yeah. No, I need your I need your best suggestions, chat. Give me all of it. What 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 do any of those mean? Any of it. Woof woof has to be fiddlesticks. You're right. That's it. Actually, we cracked the code. It's fiddlesticks. 